Uh oh. See, that's not the same. Thrift store finds. Let me show you what I got. When I'm in good places, I think about these places often. I thought I could do it today without a hat, but I think I need a hat. I just. I don't know. Hey. My mom has the kids. It's kind of windy outside still, so this guy, oh my gosh. Mm, I honestly have never learned how to wear this. Or this one. Oh, I washed this on accident, so literally it feels like a piece of cardboard. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's worse, let me go find my other one. There we go. It's still cold here in the Midwest. Probably one of the last weeks of it being cold, but this'll, this'll do. She'll hide the four days of the showering. Hi. A few things, a few things, a few things. Yes, life is really weird right now. I think it's part of the transition. More on that later. I'm taking myself out on a date tonight. More on that later. And I want to make a cake, but I don't have any cake tins. And I would like some cake tins. So I think I might go thrifting for that. More on that later. For right now, I want to finish a few tidying up tasks. And I'm not gonna show you that because I feel like I'm showing you my tidying up every single video. But I need to go to the mail rooms. Gotta find this package because it's mysteriously not in the mail room where it's supposed to be. And unpack my kid's tent. I just got them a tent last month and it finally came in for their room. Very excited. I know they're really excited too. So I'm gonna go find that. Kind of call it like this like zen chill time where I'm not thinking about anything except for like putting this up. So let's go find it together, shall we? Well, just kidding. I opened the door to go look for this and this is at the door. So I guess it's just fate. I guess today is my day. Oh, I have something else that I have to do today and it's to put a sign up on our door that says, please take your shoes off. I don't have many pet peeves. Well, I sort of did, so that's not real. But one of them is people wearing their shoes into your house. Like I have children with hands everywhere and I never get mad because they don't do it on purpose. But I just need a sign to encourage them to take your grimy, toxin covered, germ filled shoes off at the door, please. Is that too much? I'm so excited for this. Whoa, wait, it came with lights? I was not expecting that. <gasps> They're gonna love it. Okay, that's kind of girly. So I guess we won't be using that, but the lights, yeah. Should I wash it? Hmm. Maybe on like the quick wash cycle? Yeah, because it's gonna be all like, you know, wrinkly and stuff. Yeah, I'll do the quick wash. Pause. batteries that they needed but this I'm pretty sure you like string it on the top or maybe on the inside oh I cannot wait to show this to them I think I'll film it because it's gonna be so sweet we don't buy new things often and for a reason but I wanted to make their room a place that was really inviting and cozy and they want to spend time in here so that maybe they stop coming into my room every single night. I'm not saying that I don't like it. They're always welcome into my bed, but mama's getting a little tired. So I'm trying to encourage them in a healthy way to do this. Cause I know they're not gonna have an issue with sleeping in their bed when they're older. Like I, I want those years to just cuddle with them, but you know, mama's tired. So hopefully this works.
<laughs> Do you like it? Hello. Okay, so I struck out for the cake pans twats tonight. I got to ditto the uh, thrift store way too late. And then I went to go to my mom's house because I thought she had cake pans. Turned out she decluttered hers, which I can't be too upset about. But I need cake pans. And the only place that's open is like Target. I don't feel like going or spending a bunch of money on cake pans. So I'm gonna stew it over while I take myself out to get some happy hour oysters. That's all I've got for you. It's a couple strikeouts, but it's okay. I'm still gonna have a good night. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Been trying to get all of you all night. We haven't talked in months, but that's all right. Was wondering if you wanted to go for a drive I just need some fresh air and an old friend It's so good that we started talking again Yo, turn up the radio, I love this song Remember when we used to stay up all night long How's it been going though, how's it mom? The world's just so empty, this is so damn calm If we stick on the highway, we can drive all night long If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat we can drive around to the sky and see me If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat I got my hands out the window, feel the ocean breeze Pie tins? I can use them as cake tins. There's also this one. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Well, I didn't strike out this time. Let's see which one works best. I'd go with this one. It has like this little buckle on the front. So it's like a legit cake tin. Eight bucks. That's a win. That is a win. Well, I thrift. This is where my kids hang out. They just play with these toys for like. They couldn't stay here for an hour, or plus, but it's nice, I can just go walk, find some more goods. Okay, I'm in my work glasses because my eyes just hurt. I have like this, I don't know if you can see, but when I look at a screen too long, I get this like bloodshot eye going. So, thrift store finds. Let me show you what I got. I'm so excited. I've been meaning to get new shirts for the boys. New nice shirts, because they've got plenty of like, grunge tees to like go play outside you know but i found white colored shirt that button down i found this adorable little romp thing for gunner i think he'll fit in it for like maybe the summer but it was four bucks so i found these cute little shorts i don't know why but i like shorter shorts on you know my little baby because it just makes me feel like they're still a little baby found this adorable blue striped tee for my big boy i'm so into the neutrals like the burnt oranges and the topes so getting some blues in there was really necessary we got the cake pin the cake tin pan i combined them and then i asked you guys the other day what i should get to use my butter and a lot of you said butter forget the word but i looked it up and it was like a butter bowl not this long dish i found one a butter bell it says it on the bottom and it was three dollars so i'm really excited to just like 
Put my butter in there, scoop it out. Four bucks, not three bucks. <gasps> What's wrong? You need a golf ball? Do you want to show them our new sound machine that we have in your room and the cool lights? Yeah. Let's go do it. Let's show them. Okay. okay. One more thing that we bought and it's such a steal. Let me show you. So it's a new projector sound machine. It was seven dollars. <laughs> and the whole like, I'm trying to keep them in their room at night, this might help. This thing is so cool. It has Bluetooth and everything, so I can turn on a nice song to wake them up in the morning. And that is just so glorious. I mean, is it really mommy time if there isn't a baby with mommy? We were close. It's okay. I'm gonna bake together. Wanna help me bake? Can you say hi? Hi. Yeah, I'm supposed to be in bed. <laughs> but I'm baking a cake with mom instead. and I don't have energy to make this cake. I wish I did, but if I try to, I'd wake up tomorrow and I'd feel exhausted and start the day off. And I know in my videos, like it looks fun and we did have fun today, but today was also like a really challenging day. And I, I say this all the time on my channel that sharing experiences is what helps people learn. And I, for some reason, the Lord gave me this ability, desire to just be vulnerable and it doesn't bother me at all. Probably because of the way I feel when people are vulnerable with me, but I'm, I'm exhausted. Life is really great right now, but at the same time, I'm wondering why I feel this way. I'm wondering why I feel so stretched and just so not myself. I mean, all I do is talk about and process and reflect on how to stay away from the uber stressful lives and uber cluttered lives that's what life feels like right now and i know it's a transition phase but it's just yeah, i don't even have the words for it and i i know i'm not the only one and i'm not sitting here saying woe is me complain it's just like dang it's hard right now but the other thing that i think about is that when i'm in good places i think about these places often where I'm like, how am I gonna get out of this? Why is it so hard right now? What am I doing wrong? And the Lord always brings me through. So I know this is essential, but it's conflicting right now. And <laughs> didn't think I was gonna cry over making a cake, but here I am. I mean, at least I got the kids tent up with the lights. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go read a book. Can you save flour? Can you even save this for the next day? I think so. Can you put it in the fridge? I'll just put foil over it and put it on the counter. <sighs> Tomorrow's a new day, I know that. I found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind. And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine. Now I take the long way. Avoid what I can let go I don't always think about you But sometimes I do Cause sometimes I try